for healing, that you'll be with them, that you'll show your love to them. If you'd just like to mention some names for those that we can pray for. Lord, can I uh, bring forward my power? I used to play football with him. Paul Luscombe, he's got terminal cancer. And another chap we used to go running with called Eddie Green. He lived in Exeter. And he's got neither near on. So they're not very well. But uh, please remember them, Lord, in your prayers. Mm. Amen. We pray for all those members of St. Budo Church, that, uh, Baptist Church, that... Um, or poorly at the moment, that's needing treatment, that's needing rest. We pray that they get the right treatment that they need to recover and that they will be supported by us and that your love will shine through with your healing. Just be with us today, Lord. Bring your Holy Spirit into this place to overflowing, Lord. We give you this day. We give you this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so Sue has already said, today we're going to be doing, um, it's almost like a school assembly from primary days, but we're going to be talking about Menadue Camp because um, you have all supported the youth, that they all come to youth club and uh, they've all been to Menadue Camp due to your support, whether it was financially, whether it was prayerfully, but you have supported them. So we're going to be doing... um, a service about our experience there. We're going to start off with a song. All the songs that we sing today are the songs that we sang at Menadu Camp, and the first one is called Rejoice. What a wonderful way to start the day. So if you'd like to stand and sing with us. Yeah, you can stand if you like. You can sing and dance and do whatever you'd like. Take heart and stand amazed. Reach. 
So now I'm going to get um, the youth to uh, talk about their experience at camp. But I also, um, Leo is unable to be here this morning, um, so we'll give Leah a wave. Hi, Leah. Uh, she's watching online. Um, but Leah came to camp with us, and she's written me... Um, a, little, uh, a little note that she wants to share with you about her experience of Menadju. So she says, Menadju Camp was the most incredible experience from start to finish. Every day was a new and exciting. It was a privilege to be part of an amazing team. It was wonderful to witness the children's growth within a week and see their faith flourish. The children were very well behaved and engaged in all the activities. A big thank you to the parents for supporting and encouraging this adventure and to everyone who contributed to make this possible. Our time at Menadju is only something I can describe as magical and life-changing. Personally, I have come away feeling uplifted, refreshed, and seeking to learn more. If there is anywhere you're going to find God, Menadju is a must. To me, it wasn't a place. It was a feeling of contentment, being whole, being home. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and in, exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. And that's Psalm 9, 1 to 2. Love and light, Leah. So I think that's wonderful. Shall we give her a clap? Now, I have to say at this point, um, all the adults were given duties to do. And we had to work during uh, the week, and we, we were all allocated certain jobs. And Leah felt like that. And Leah and Millie's job during the week was cleaning toilets. So, cleaning toilets and the showers and the cubicles, Leah felt like that, even doing a job like that. So that is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Harlow's just reminded me, and she was the camp hairdresser as well, because um, she was doing everybody's plaits. So you might find on one of the photos on the slideshow that uh, there, there's a picture of me with my plaits done. Leah plaited so many of the girls' hairs and the ladies' hairs, and she was amazing. She was brilliant. So I'm just going to come round um, each of the um, campers and to find out what men are due, what the best bits that they had or what it meant to them. Or um, So I'm going to swap microphones now. Is it on, Tim? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have a dispute now about which way to go. So Alfie, now Alfie didn't stay the whole week. He didn't think it would, um, he would 
manage that, but he did spend a couple of days with us. So what do you want to say about Menadu, Alfie? What my favourite bit was. Yeah, what was your favourite? Um, my favourite bit was meeting new people and um, learning how to play volleyball. Okay. What was, you want to tell us a funny bit, oh, yeah. don't you? The funny bit is when I came in because Sue got us lost. <laughs> on the way so, back. Sue came to pick up Alfie and uh, Alfie thought it was really funny because I kept getting lost on the way home. <laughs> I, I think my favourite part was swimming and meeting many new people. Okay, brilliant. Did you find anything hard? Did yeah. You? Yeah. Just being there. I'm not really like sleeping outside. I have okay. a nice comfy bed. <laughs> okay. Sleep too. okay. But on the whole, you liked it, did yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, was, what did you think of Menadu? Uh, I thought it was quite fun and I enjoyed swimming in the sea because the oh. <laughs> I oh. Yeah, go on. I quite enjoyed it and my favourite part was swimming in the sea because of the waves. Okay. Did you find anything hard? Um, not really. Okay. But did you enjoy it? Yeah. Would you go again? Probably. Probably. Okay, Kai. My favourite oh, oh. favorite bit was um, uh, swimming. Yeah. Did, and I really enjoyed it. Did you, um, did you enjoy any of the group games? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, was there anything you found hard? No. Difficult? No? Okay. Would you go again? Yes. Yeah. Um, you can hold the microphone if you like. Um, I really like the people there and the vibe and the tents and everything like that. Okay. Did you find anything hard there? The spiders. The spiders. Okay. Megan, do you want to hold her? I enjoyed the swimming in the sea. You enjoyed that? What else did you enjoy? Anything else? Meeting new people. What did you do? For me, while we were at camp. Breath. Dig your nails. Yeah, you did my nails, didn't you? They were fun. Yeah, thank you for that. Was there anything you found hard? Uh, not being taken by the waves in the sea. Okay. And uh, would you go again? Yeah. Would you go again? 110%. Okay. Evelyn, hello. Hi. Good morning. Hi. So, what did you think of um, camp? Um, I thought that was pretty fun. Um, and I'd like to make uh, making new friends and meeting new people. Okay. Was there anything you found hard? Um, not really. Not really. Would you like to go again? Yeah. Okay, great. I really like the swimming because all the huge waves and I like just belly flopping in the middle of them. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything you found difficult? Eating the food. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Would you go again? 100%. Okay. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> So um, I've jotted down some notes. And um, so this is all the youth club. And we want to do this as a thank you um, because it, you supported us and raised money and don uh, donated so that we could all go. Now, Leah has already said, we've got dates for next year, 5th to the 12th of August. Put it in your diaries, and she already wants to start doing uh, fundraising, and I'm back in her yes on that one. So we've seen sunsets, the most amazing sunsets, and we've watched the sunrise after very little sleep. Um, some of us have worked hard, but at the same time been truly blessed. For one or two of uh, the, for one or two, this was their first time going on holiday, going away from home. Um, one of them even said when we were on the coach, wow, we've gone across the Tamar Bridge. I've never been across the Tamar Bridge. So it was quite difficult and it was quite hard for some. It was a new experience to go away right down into Cornwall with, without their families, but with us. 
Uh, there was, uh, yeah, so the first time being away from home and family, but we were fed and watered in more ways than one. Yes, there were plenty of water fights. It was, we were blessed with such fantastic weather that uh, there were plenty of opportunities um, before the water stoppage uh, to have uh, water fights in the wonderful hot weather. We had a swimming and a trip to the beach. We also had daily teaching and worship. The adults started every morning with prayer together at 7.15 a.m., which meant getting up a lot earlier to use, take turns in using the bathroom. Then it was all hands on deck to get ready for breakfast for all 97 of us. Then the dishes, all done by us adults. So uh, with so many on camp, it didn't go without the odd hiccup and issue and youngsters falling out. What was overwhelming for a lot of us was the sheer beauty of the place. Not just views, but inside. I was asked um, with regards to the adults, why is everyone so kind here? I think it was God's love and kindness shining through. The children enjoyed many games and activities on camp. They haven't really mentioned all, many of them, but there was a table tennis tournament, there was pool, crafts, a nail bar to get your nails um, done, you know, and uh, it was lovely. I had some really doody stuff. Uh, there was uh, the, the little tattoos that you could have. There was a tuck and bookshop. And uh, many were making friendship bands. Oh, I've got one there. So whenever there was any time, they would be filled up with making friendship bands. There was croaker. That's a new game. Uh, they can tell you about it later. There were team games, volleyball and swing ball. Walks and swimming, oh, not to forget the manhunt. You can ask later about that as well. Thank you. Uh, great. I'm glad you enjoyed the fireworks. Um, it was a, a place to learn about faith, love, kindness and hope, as well as fun, food and fire pits. So... We're also, um, oh, so we're going to sing another song now from um, camp. Now, this one's got actions, and our star of the actions is going to be Harlow. So if you need to know the actions, or if you don't mind Harlow, come in the middle. So, well, I'll be watching Harlow to get the actions, and I find it so hard these days to get the words out so quick and do the actions at the same time. It seems I can either do one or the other, but not both. But have a go. It, this is called, um, It's a Light and a Hammer. Thank you. It's a light and a hammer, it's a fire and a 
sword It's the voice of a father, the word of the Lord The blade of the spirit can cut to the soul And God will use it to make us whole That makes us new Know the Son of God The Word whose Word is true Our King has spoken to us So there is no place for pride He gives hearts of flesh And changes us inside It's a light and a hammer It's a fire and a sword it's the voice of the Father, the word of the Lord. The blade of the Spirit can cut to the soul, and God will use it. It's a light and a hammer, it's a fire and a sword. It's the voice of the Father, the word of the Lord. The blade of the Spirit can cut to the soul, and God will use it to make us whole. Okay, so now we're going to do a reading. Um, during camp, we had a theme, and the theme is taken from this bit of scripture. The theme for the youth was, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. But I'm going to do the whole of this reading with the youth going to be helping me, okay? You got your... Your words, you know when you're going to be talking. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tallulah, you're going to be the first one, so if you hold that ready for when it's your turn. So this is taken from 1 Timothy 4. The Spirit clearly says that in later times some will, some will abandon faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose consciences have been seared with a, lot of, with a hot iron. They forbid people to marry and order them to abstain from certain foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and who know the truth. For everything God created is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, because it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer. If you point to these, if you point these things out to the brothers and sisters, you will be a good minister of Christ Jesus, nourished on the truths of the faith and of the good teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with godliness, myths and old wives' tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly, for physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. This is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. That is why we labor and strive, because we have to put our hope in the living God, who is the savior of all people, and especially of those who believe. Command and teach these things. Can you try that again? Is it not working? Yeah, try it again. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. But set an example for the believers in speech. For the believers in speech.
in conduct, in love, in faith and in purity. Sorry, he's just said you a bit. <laughs> Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to preaching and to teaching. Do not neglect your gift which was given you through prophecy when the body of elders laid their hands on you. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Um, during um, Menadu, as well as having some scripture, we had some booklets that the children used to follow. Then they could come um, after the evening service. If they had questions to ask, they would um, go to a certain place within the camp so that they could ask questions about faith. Those that um, felt like they were really close to giving their hearts to the Lord, could come to the farmhouse and um, ask questions there and get guidance about how to give their hearts to the Lord. So it was wonderful to see what was happening with the youth, um, both mixing with other people and doing something that's unusual for them, but also in their faith. And there were quite a few that came along to the farmhouse. Um, and we did have several of the youth give their hearts to, their lo to the Lord during that week, um, including some of our campers here. And uh, their next thing that they want to uh, inquire about is baptism. So that's amazing. During the week, though, and during their studies, um, they were given some verses to remember. Okay. Now, one of our star youths that were great at remembering the verses was Harlow. Harlow, would you like to say one of them now? Oh, let's give you the... Um... Okay. Don't say it too fast. And then after two hours. Yeah. And then you, I'll come back to you again. God demonstrates his love for us. In that while we're still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Well done. <laughs> if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. <laughs> okay, well done. The ways of the sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Well done. Fantastic. So it was really lovely to see and to... I mean, for me, with Harlow, who used to be quite shy... To, to be able to recount, and um, Megan and some of the others as well, they were able to stand up and uh, give their verse. But also, uh, before mealtime, we would say grace. And Harla was brilliant at standing up and giving a short prayer for grace. So, well done, Harla. I saw him really come out of his shell. It's been brilliant as he was one of our younger uh, campers because he, he only went because of uh, going with Leah. Um, he wasn't really old enough. So it was amazing to see things happening with the, with the really young ones. We're coming near to the end of this short service now. But what I'd like to do is have prayer time again. But what I would like to do, something a bit different is to invite you to pray for the youth, please. Okay, so if we can um, stand 
In, or, no, we'll sit in prayer. Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you um, for the youth and for the church that we have here. But I pray that you will enable some of uh, the, the church here to be able to pray for the youth that we have. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, I just pray for all, all in this church this morning, all the youth and the uh, young at heart. <laughs> Heavenly Father, pour your blessings on them. Be with them, uh, be with the youth as they go back to school. Be with them in their time, uh, in their social time. And just fill them with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and that they will know your love and that they can lean on you when things get hard. Give them wisdom, Lord. Give them strength and courage, but most of all, your love and your joy. And that's for everyone in the church and those that we know and love that are not here this morning. Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you for being with us at all times and in all places. In Jesus' name, amen. So now we're going to um, sing How Great Is Our God, because we've missed that one, haven't we? Yeah. We're going we're to sing too. We're going to sing How Great Is Our God and then our final song, which was our final song of the camp of the evening and on the last day it was lovely because a lot of the youth got um, arm in arm and was swaying into it and it was just a wonderful um, feeling of togetherness so two songs how great is our god then the final song jesus strong and kind
Blessings on everyone here, Jesus strong and kind, that if ever we find something hard, something difficult in life, we can trust in God to be with us and help us through, Jesus strong and kind, holy is your name, pour your blessings now in your love and your kindness. Amen. Amen. I think we ought to say a big thank you to Sarah Jane and so much <coughs> to the other leaders who looked thank after all these youngsters during the camp. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well done, everyone. Well done. Well done. You can go now. <laughs>